This is a quick and dirty for the new Blender Surface Deform modifier, and how you can use it with Marvelous Designer to make your life a bit, okay, a lot, easier. A little housekeeping first, you need to know that the Surface Deform modifier does not work with the current Blender release 2.79. There's a bug. To make this work, you'll have to grab an experimental release of Blender or wait until the next official release. So I've created a model, this is a just, just basic, uh, threw together a skirt here in Marvelous Designer. You can see it's a skirt. It's not very exciting. But just to demonstrate what the Surface Deform modifier can do. Uh, I've exported exported my skirt. Uh, export, obj selected to a 3D obj file. But I've also exported my skirt reset to, reset 2D arrangement as a flat 2D obj file. And I'll show you what that means and why that's kind of exciting in just a moment. Export, right. Obj selected. Test flat. So now I've come over here to Blender and I've already set all of this up so that uh, we don't take any more time than we have to. And here's my nice 3D skirt that I exported from Marvelous Designer. And that looks alright, looks like a skirt. But if you go into edit mode you can see that even when you have uh, quads selected in Marvelous Designer, yeah, they're quads for the most part, but the geometry is really bad. So you don't get nice edge loops. This is going to be a stone bear to try to, uh, to try to rig to an avatar. And uh, so even with quads, you're going to have to retopologize this bad boy to make it work well and uh, to uh, uh, keep it low poly. But what you can do, and this is exciting now, is here's my flat skirt pattern that I've imported, that I exported from Marvelous Designer. And if you go into edit mode, you can see it has exactly the same geometry, which is to say, oh dear. But, so the first thing you're going to want to do with this flat skirt, this, this uh, flat model, is you're going to want to add some shape keys to it because the flat model needs to turn into the 3D model. So you get a, give it a basis shape key, just like you do with every other shape. And then what you're going to want to do is you select your 3D model and you select your, you then uh, shift and select your flat model. And you're going to want to add another shape key. You're going to want to join as shapes. So if you select that new shape key, and now you increase the value, you can see it wraps very nicely to the 3D model, and flat becomes 3D. So that doesn't really help with retopologizing, but what you can do now is make a copy of that flat model, which I've already done, and you can retopologize that flat model, which again I've already done. <coughs> Pardon me. So you can see that you now have nice edge loops on your flat model. Looks pretty good. And it's not perfect, it's not brilliant, but this really isn't a video on how to retopologize. What you can do now is you can come over here with your retopologized model and add a surface deform modifier. I bet you can see where we're going now. Give it the target of your unretopologized flat model. Set the interpolation fall off all the way up to 16 because you want that to wrap nice and tight. And then bind it. So now if you come back over to your test uh, unretopologized model, go back to your shape keys, increase the value, bam, you have a skirt. A couple of cleanup things you'll have to do that should be uh, pretty apparent very quickly here. Uh, so you still have these doubled vertices anywhere where the pattern edges meet. But that's pretty easy to deal with. Um, in this case it's extremely easy to deal with. You just go uh, remove doubles and you're home free. Nice retopologized skirt, decent geometry, 
took about 30 seconds to do. Okay, well, it took me a couple of minutes to, to retopologize that, but uh, really easy. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions.